Absence by Jane Johnston Schoolcraft. Read by Frank Blissett. Ninda Wemeo. Pensive and sad, I glide along St. Mary's woodland shades, while fancy pictures clear and strong a form that never fades. From eyes that long have viewed that form and known the mind within, whose feelings noble, generous, warm, a heart more cold might win. Gladly I seek the woody shade to steal away from care, and seat me down in some lone glade while memory follows there. It speaks of him whose worth so rare deserves my every thought. His image follows me with care, with equal pleasure sought. Waft him, ye winds, in safety back, dispel my anxious tears. Then doubt no more my mind shall rack, I'll smile at all my fears. Nizika. Anxious I count each coming day as time glides on too slow away. Tardy I feel the hours to move, those hours to me so lonely prove. Whilst fears possess my troubled soul without the power to control. While Henry strays far from my sight, stranger I am to all delight, save when I gaze upon my child, cheerful, sportive, gentle, mild. Then, lost to every other care, to heaven I breathe a fervent prayer, that he, the God of love and power, may bless and guard him through each hour, make him in health and strength to grow, teach him from whence his blessings flow, teach him the heavenly will to trace, early to seek his Saviour's face and on his mind this truth to write, Knowledge of God is wisdom's height. Ninobami Say, dearest friend, when light your bark glides down the Mississippi dark, where nature's charms in rich display in varied hue appear so gay to wrap your mind and gain your eye as light and quick you pass them by. Say, do thy thoughts e'er turn to home as mine to thee incessant roam? And when at eve in deserts wild dost thou think on our lovely child? Dost thou in stillness of the night, by the planet's silvery light, breathe a prayer to the spirit above, for thy wife and thy child, my love? Ninguisis When a boat my dear Willie spies, eagerly to the shore he hies, with frilling voice cries, my papa, joy sparkling in his speaking eye. But sad he turns, pa gone, bye-bye, and closer clings to his mamma. Then haste thee home, my Henry dear, my weary pensive moments cheer and share the bliss a mother feels at the dawn of intelligence that lights the brow of innocence as he to each parent appeals. That was Absence by Jane Johnston Schoolcraft Read by Frank Blissett